Yeah, why don't we why don't we talk a little bit about what you guys do there, so mm -hmm. we can get to know you a little bit. Why don't yeah. you Why don't you share with us, Amy, sure. what what you do at Bungalow Hospital? I don't, even if you find anything you guys share with me right now, even if you think it's boring, we want to know. Okay. <laughs> okay. And so, how do sure. wh what do you do when you're at Bungalow? Yeah, I spend my day at the hospital, um, working in. There's an accounting office. We have accounting, bookkeeping. Uh, we haven't. There is a national insurance company, so we process insurance forms. So. That's kind of where I spend my time. I, I didn't really know any accounting. That's not my background. Right. I didn't know any accounting. Or yeah, you have a background in? in occupational therapy, actually. Okay. But it's been a yeah. long time for that as well. So they just asked if I would be interested in checking it out. I said I would. I'm not very great, great at math. And they said, can you use a calculator? I said, yes, I can. <laughs> can you use a computer? I said, yes, I can. So, um, but it's been good. I learned accounting in French. and That's great. Yeah. So. It's basic. Accounting in French. Yeah. Yeah. It's not, it's not advanced accounting, whoever is listening that's an accountant. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're basic. But it's, I enjoy it. I love, uh, we have a nice team of Gabonese. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's a great way for me, at least, to stay connected with the hospital. I know the goings on. Right. They're there. And yeah. uh, practice my French, of course. So, yeah. yeah, I do that. And then I also spend time upstairs. We have, there is a national insurance company that doesn't always pay, but um, mm -hmm. we send in our claims. and Wow. Pray that that's they a lot do. Of paperwork. And yeah, yeah, it's that's pretty much dead data entry, but again, a fun group of girls to work with. And that's yeah. great. And it's the yeah. yeah and it, to give people yeah. the scope, you mentioned it earlier. It's a 150 bed hospital, mm -hmm. and you see, you told me earlier today, 40,000 roughly patients a year. Mm -hmm. You know, COVID or not, not yeah. COVID, before yeah. COVID, 40,000 patients a year plus all the family members that come and all that. So it's a big yeah. concern. I mean, there's mm -hmm. an awful lot going on. Yeah. So you're in an, a department of multiple people that do these things. You're certainly Correct. not the yeah. only person dealing no, with no. the national mm -hmm. insurance. Correct, yeah. We yeah. have, there's about three of us um, mm -hmm. that work on it. There's a secretary that's Gabonese. She's been there okay. for several years. And then we have one of the residents' wives, one of the PACS residents' wives, uh, okay. helps us as well. So Okay, yeah, yeah. and we'll talk more about yeah. that in just a minute, too. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Jeff? Yeah. What do you do at the hospital? Well, at the hospital, my pr primary role is to oversee the anesthesia services. Mm -hmm. I'm an anesthesiologist, um, went to Bongalow to join uh, the team there. Uh, and so I oversee all the anesthesia services for roughly four, four to five operating mm -hmm. rooms mm -hmm. and oversee uh, the anesthetists that, that do the anesthesia there. Mm -hmm. um, in that same role and, or in that same area, I also run a training program mm -hmm. in uh, nurse anesthesia. Okay. So that's a two-year program, and it's it's patterned and modeled after a program in Kenya okay. that a friend of mine runs. He's mm -hmm. been doing it for 20, 25 years, mm -hmm. and we we ported that over to French and uh -huh. to our location and adapted it, and you know did all that. And uh, so yeah, we we just actually finished up our our first mm -hmm. two-year mm -hmm. cohort with three students and mm -hmm. uh, got that. So that's wow. at the hospital. That's that's my main engagement there yeah so when you manage are you, you're managing the folks that are in that program right you're training them yeah and then in addition to that you're also kind of overseeing all the people who serve in that field at the hospital right. you know uh, mm -hmm. the anesthetists in the yeah. hospital uh, do you ever actually get to to actually do <laughs> practice the trade yourself is this like well when i you? first showed up at bongo i did because we were there was only uh, there was two other anesthetists okay that had been there for quite some time good friends and uh and myself mm -hmm. And that's three people, and we have four to five operating rooms. So, yeah, I was mm -hmm. doing a lot, mm -hmm. especially if they went on vacation or whatever. But okay. now that we, we introduced the training program, we've added three more, and they're learning. And so I have done done less. Yeah. But yeah. 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 It, it's got to feel good to have the ability to put people to sleep on command, right? It's just like, that's, that's got to yeah. feel good. We call that preaching on Sunday there morning. You go. Yeah. yeah, that's our, yeah. that's the way we, I feel solidarity with what you're doing there because, yeah. you know, yeah. we do that too, but, uh, yeah. wake yeah. them back yeah. up though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have to, yeah. Yeah. People yeah. ask, Oh, you're an, or they say you're an anesthesiologist. You put people to sleep. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, but better yet, I wake them <laughs> I up. I wake them back yeah. up, which <laughs> is probably more key. important. Yeah. That's the most yeah, important. Yeah, no doubt yeah. about it. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Well, so is the the program, the actual training program is fairly new then. It's a... Uh, yeah. Okay. So it just started in the last few years? Yeah. Uh, we arrived at Bungalow four years ago. Okay. And um, I alluded to the anesthetists that were right. there, the two veteran mm -hmm. anesthetists. They had been, they'd been practicing anesthesia. Mm-hmm for 15 years or so Wow. without any formal training. Wow. Just people showing up, showing them what to do, yeah. surgeons kind of showing them what to do, you know. <laughs> wow. And they're actually really pretty good. Yeah. But what I did, um, 
twofold. Uh-huh. I, the, I started a little mini training program for them. Mm-hmm. So it, it ran kind of fill in the gaps six, a bit. seven months of filling in, yeah, mm-hmm. the holes. But it also allowed me to train mm-hmm. on how to teach in another language, in oh, French. Oh, man. So the first year, that's what we concentrated on, just training them. Wow. And then we took a little time off and then started the, the full training program with the, the three students. So the students come in, they are recruited from a Gabon as a whole, yeah. and they come in from all over the country to learn this particular trade. Yeah. Wow, yeah, yeah. that's fantastic. And they practice while they're learning, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's, it's that kind <laughs> exactly. of hospital. Yeah. yeah. 